We are nearly a year into the pandemic and Hoosiers are still dealing with the financial fallout. For one Indiana business owner, that included losing his restaurant. But his story did not stop there. Tonight, WRTV's Cameron Riddle is sharing a downtown Indianapolis comeback story. In February 2020, local businessman Terry Anthony was on top of the world. He had just finished remodeling his successful Subway restaurant in the shadows of the city county building on East Market Street. We had opened up to this brand new, uh, no, new format, new setup, everything was nice, all the new bells and whistles. A month later, we had a little thing come around called uh, COVID-19. In less than two months, the pandemic and stay-at-home orders forced Anthony to permanently shut down his once booming restaurant after mutually agreeing with the building's owner to go their separate ways. So a business that would have normally seen upwards of 700 different you know, customers in a day um, trickled down to about, I'd say, 70 maybe, and that's pretty much stressing it. Anthony says he could have lost everything just trying to keep the doors open and would have suffered more losses during the May riots that damaged that building. On that very same block that we would have been open was vandalized and banks caught on fire and businesses that were uh, ravaged that are still not open today. But fast forward 10 months later and Anthony is back on his feet opening a new upscale American food restaurant on the other end of Market Street and Capitol Ave. Ironically, in a closed restaurant that was also damaged during the riots. The same building we showed you that night after the windows started breaking. This is the glass, we're outside, but my hand is inside of this building. Anthony has now gutted that same space in preparation for his new restaurant called The Block Bistro and Grill, which opens this weekend and has a little bit of everything. Your, your tacos, your salmon, we have a ribeye, we have uh, what we call blanchos, which is our take on a nacho. Almost a year into the pandemic, Anthony can't guarantee that his new venture will be successful. But with March Madness just weeks from arriving in Indy, he's hoping his timing is right for a new chapter. What matters now is, is that we're Americans, we're Hoosiers, and we've got to figure out a way to do what we've always done, pull our way out of this situation and come out on the other side and figure out how to do it and do it together. And uh, if it starts at the block, I'd love to say that, and we, we can keep it going from there. Cameron Riddle, WRTV.